Welcome to the video guys. Today we're finally going to talk about how I went from 155 pounds all the way up to 275 pounds and then all the way down to currently 187 pounds. So I was originally trying to do this video in one massive take, but um, I realized this is a this is a 16 year transformation. So from 12 years old when I started uh, weightlifting, uh, all the way up to when I was 24 and I was 275 pounds, and then all the way back down to 187, which I'm currently at at 27 years old. So 16 years. Is that 16 years? Yeah, I'm almost 28. So. That's 16 years of fitness, exercise, nutrition, diet experience. Uh, I already made this video, right? But I forgot to plug in my microphone, so there's no audio. So this is like this is like take number three. And Jennifer's here to look cute, right? But also she's gonna put some inputs on like my fat life and also the diet that I used. So since this is a huge transformation. We're gonna start this story from when I was 275 uh, and then down to 250. For, so for my first 25 pounds of weight loss. So, cheat cheat here. Um, real quick, I'm gonna show you a picture. Like right here. This is like the picture of me on the beach with the, with the surfboard. Yeah. Okay, this is like when I was roughly 155 pounds-ish. Um, then I'll throw in some like- This is when we first started dating. Yeah, I'll throw in some like um, really skinny like high school pictures, but that's when I was really small. Basically, real quick backstory, I basically just did like bodybuilding for a few years, then I transitioned into powerlifting, like junior year of high school. Um, here's a senior prom picture. So, really? So cute, so cute. Oh, um, that dress is horrific. So like by junior year, I think I was like 185, uh, and then I picked up powerlifting and then eventually strongman. So this is at the tippity tip top of 275. This is a picture of me and mom on the couch when I'm like fat and have your Johnson & Wales sweatshirt on. So, I mean, look at my face, right? You can see my jaw, super skinny. Uh, he was, ooh, ooh. Um, And like anybody, if you guys are overweight right now, uh, you know that you don't take a lot of pictures. Like I hated getting my picture taken because like I was strong, I was still training for athletics and competitions, but I just Never. knew that I looked gross because I was just like so massive. Never. And uh, I had like my pictures. my grandfather uh, and my uh, grandmother wow. have like this really fat like called it a gobble neck, and I had this like a huge neck. So uh, if you're in the weight loss journey and you have those um, moments where you don't want to take a picture. Take the damn picture because it's really fun to look back on. Because I wish I had a lot more fat pictures because I don't. Yeah. But here's a picture of me like doing some strongman stuff. I'll, I'll throw a bunch of pictures in. So I was pretty big, 275 pounds. Pretty big, pretty six, miserable. Six foot one. Um, I was kind of built like, like a football lineman, right? Yeah. Just like really husky. Yeah. Like I had obviously more muscle mass than I do now, but a lot of body fat. You can actually consider myself, I would actually consider myself obese because I had, was at least 25% body fat. Yeah. So to put this into perspective, my waist right now is 30, like one and a half inches. It used to be 45 or like 47. It was humongous, like my belly was massive. Um, so yeah, I, I had a lot of body fat. It's it like, is weird to look back. I feel like I've lived multiple lives because yeah. I had so many different phases. But anyways, we're getting off track. So. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about my first 25 pounds and the diet I use, but real quick, uh, put you in the mindset of what I was thinking about my goals, my training methods at 275. So what, would I, what was I doing at 275 pounds? My main goal was to get my pro card for strongman. Um, and for pro strongman and heavyweight, you're going up against guys that are 300 pounds, like the lightest all the way up to 440 pounds. So to they be were some big men. Yeah, to be competitive in heavyweight strongman, you have to be massive because mass moves mass. So the bigger you are, the stronger you are. Um, and I was trying to get to 300 pounds. Now, in order for me to stay at 275, I had to eat seven 
thousand calories a day. And I remember just being in bed, like just shoveling in food, trying to get the 7,000 calories. I would eat like boxes of cereal, protein shakes with peanut butter and ice cream, like just like just force feeding myself basically. And that's one reason, if you guys are a fan of this channel, that's one reason why I can do these huge cheat days because I still have like my fat boy stomach, right? Um, so training. Training, I basically was full on strongman and powerlifting. So seven days a week, I took days off here and there, but training for strongman was the focus. So I was doing log press, axle clean and press, squat, bench, deadlift, car deadlift, keg carry, like all crazy stuff. Um, hopefully I'm putting in pictures as I'm talking to make it interesting. But uh, main focus was strongman, trying to get to 300 pounds, eating a crap ton of food. Um, but yeah, that was, that was my mindset. So, why did I decide to diet? Why did I say, no more heavyweight strongman and get your butt on a diet? So, the main goal was, or the main, like, reason why I wanted to move and, well, the main reason why I wanted to diet was, one, like, it was so hard for me to stay at 275 pounds. Like, I, like every morning I'd be like 270, 275 like so much weight fluctuation because if I was off my calories by a little bit, I would lose weight. So my body didn't want to hold that much body weight. Two, I was out of breath walking up and down the stairs. Three, like, you were miserable. I was so miserable. I had such like, so much anger. Like my, my legs, my quads would rub together. Uh, I, had, I used to wear, do you remember this? I used to wear two shirts. Oh my I God. I used to wear two that shirts because uh, like I already have rounded shoulders, so but when I was overweight, like I had such like saggy like pecs, not saggy, but like with the way the you shirt fit, it and, like shirt. the way the shirt fit, it like looked like I had like moobs, um, and it was just uncomfortable. So and also like health reasons, like I I just felt like my heart was like racing, like I just felt like I wasn't in a good place. So. Um, 275 pounds wasn't a good fit for me, and my main thought was, well, I could be a 231 pound lightweight strongman. So if I can maintain my strength at 275, but be like 240 and then weight cut to the 231 and get my lightweight pro card, then I would like kill the competition. So that was like the main reason. Lightweight strongman, be really, really strong, get a little bit leaner, uh, and get my lightweight pro card. Um, so now that I have my new goals of being a lightweight pro, uh, still focusing on strongman, still doing powerlifting, I added in like a little bit of cardio, but the main thing was I changed up my diet completely. So I used a diet called the Carb Night Solution. Jennifer actually uh, messed around with this diet too, but the Carb Night Solution and I was in a caloric deficit. So. I first got introduced to the carbonite diet by watching YouTube videos. I, uh, before I was a like, creator of YouTube videos. <laughs> I get to call myself a creator now because I get to I upload videos, girl. Yep. Anyways, mm -hmm. I would like watch YouTube videos like anybody else, uh, powerlifting, so I watched Mark Bell, um, Elite FTS, like all these like strong guys, right? So Mark Bell at the time, he was 330 pounds, he used carbonite, he went down to 275, and then eventually he went down to like 242 and he was still really strong, but he got really, really lean. Hopefully, maybe I can put up a picture. But, so he was like my main motivation because I was like, all right, he can still be strong, look good, and be competitive. So that's why I decided to do carb night. Am I boring you? No. Look cute. So what is carb night? So this is gonna be very brief, and this is why I'm making this a multi-part video because you guys can ask a bunch of questions and I can make multiple videos out of this, basically. So carb night in short. Most diets are, are um, your carbohydrates are your main source of energy, right? So <coughs> carb night is uh, a ketogenic diet where you're in ketosis. So your body is using ketones, so fat as your main source of energy. So the more body fat you have on, your, on you, uh, the easier this diet is because your body basically burns the body fat that's already on your body for energy and then you have these huge weight loss chunks. Um, but really briefly how it works 
is there's a 10 day period. Jennifer did this, right? A little bit, it was kind of hard for you, but um, 10 day period, right? Uh, it's kind of like a testing phase where you, you go 10 days and you get adjusted to the ketosis. But in short, it's 30 grams or less of carbohydrates a day, no sugars, no fruits, none of that. All your carbs are basically coming from vegetables. And for example, I was eating 300 grams of lean protein, 300 grams of healthy fats like nuts, seeds, olive oil, a lot of coconut oil, and then just vegetables. Um, so really low on the carbs. And uh, through the first 10 days, I instantly dropped 10 pounds. So it was like, whoa, 10 pounds? So I went from 275 down to 265, right? And then the carb night is, this is where like the epic cheat days basically started. And this is why it's like, it caught on and it like, I, this is why I could still do it. So carb night is basically at the end of the 10 days of the low carb cycle, um, you have like an epic cheat day. So donuts, pizza, cheat french fries, things like that. Yeah, it starts, it's a cheat night. So it's from 5 p.m. till bedtime basically. So the whole purpose of the carb night is to spike your insulin, uh, release all the hormones in your body. So it's kind of like, just like a refresh, right? So you go on a fat burning diet, you have your carb night, right? You lose weight, oh, so I'm, going, I'm going the wrong way. You lose weight, right? You gain a little weight on the, on the cheat night, <clears throat> then you lose weight. Gain weight, lose weight, gain weight, lose weight, gain weight, lose weight, uh, until I eventually got down to 250. Pounds. So 250 pounds, right? I lost 25 pounds within four months. Now this is a picture. I'm gonna throw in a bunch of pictures of Aruba. Oh God. So I, I, in, Aruba, I in Aruba, in Aruba, I remember uh, being exactly like 250-ish. Uh, I might have been a little bit more bloated because we were on vacation, right? But 250 pounds. I was still chunky, right? I should be panning through we pictures. Were, I was a senior in college. I had... So what year is that? It 2012? was 2011. 11? 2011. Yeah. So, how old was I? Or how old were we? We were 20... What year is it? 2011? 2017? Right now? Yeah. 6 years? 2011. 6 years? 21? 21, yeah. yeah. So 21, basically. I was 21, you were 20. Oh, okay. So I was 20. So 250 pounds, <clears throat> like, I'm still fat. So this is a main picture that kind of like, I know was people. like, ooh, the cliff, right? The cliff picture where, I'm, where my belly's hanging oh, over. God. So I'm gonna zoom in, look at this gut. Oh, so God. I was still fat, guys. I still had a lot of body fat. And this, should, this was like the main push where I was like, I look really bad. Um, even though I, I lost 25 pounds, I knew there was still more weight to lose. So, um, if there's ever, Jennifer's, Jennifer's getting distracted, she's getting bored. Hopefully you guys aren't getting bored. No. <clears throat> but uh, hopefully there's a moment in your life where you're like, I'm making progress, but I can still keep pushing. So don't, don't settle for just a little bit of progress, keep pushing. So yeah, my main diet was carb night at the start. <clears throat> I added in a little bit of cardio, but mainly I was going from 7,000 calories down to 4,000 calories. So I was in, already in a caloric deficit. I utilized carb night to lose the first 25 pounds. I recommend the diet if you're really overweight and you wanna lose weight quickly. Um, I'll link the Carb Night book down below. I'll link Mark Bell's videos down below. Um, ask any questions that you have on the diet. I'll try to uh, incorporate it in a new video or I'll answer them down below. Um, but yeah, that's, my, that's my, basically my, my part one of the weight loss journey. So the next video I'll put out will be like from 250 down to 225, and then 225 down to 200, and then down to 190 or 187. If you guys are new to the channel, please give the video a thumbs up. Um, I'm currently, or we're currently doing a summer cut series where we're originally like three weeks ago, I was 193 pounds, I'm 187. I'm trying to get down to 180. So I'm I, continuing the weight loss. I started at 130. I dropped down to 121 right now. Yeah, so we're doing a diet series. If you uh, are a fan of the channel um, and you've been watching our cheat days, this is why I can do this crazy cheat days. One, I still have a fat man's stomach. Two, I'm used to epic cheat days. Um, but um, 
Yeah, that's the end of this video, I think. You think that's too much ramble? No, I think it's perfect. So, comment, like, subscribe. We will see you guys tomorrow. Um, if you didn't watch the epic 15,000 calorie cheat day from Easter, watch it. And then, if you don't know, I gained 15 pounds in one night and lost 15 pounds within 24 hours. In tomorrow's video, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about how that is fiscally possible. I still need to lose one more pound. But, we will see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Arrivederci. Bye. Bye. Arrivederci. I'm working on my Italian. Ciao. Ciao.